Hi, this is Robbie from the Cartographer's Guild. I'm uh, just giving a quick double speed tutorial here on rectangular to uh, or polar to equirectangular conversion using GIMP. Uh, so what I'm doing here initially is trying to fit a circle uh, to one of the hemisphere maps. It didn't work at all, so instead I've resorted to using the rectangular marquee tool just to line up the four sides. I'm now cutting and pasting to a new document uh, the one hemisphere. Uh, you can see, well you can't really see, but it's not square so I'm just squaring it up by setting the vertical pixel pixels to match the horizontal. Now to work with the polar conversions it's best to enlarge the image so I'm going to go 400 percent and blow it up pretty big. There we go. Once that's done we can do a uh, distort uh, polar coordinates and you can see we want it not checked to polar we're coming uh, to rectangular and there's some uh, twiddle buttons that'll let us flip the XY rotation and the uh, up and down uh, vertical and horizontal flips <clears throat> so ensuring we've got the right hemisphere we can generate it like this so the pole is up we're just going to take it now, uh, unlink uh, our proportions and scale the image down uh, not to 0.25%, that was a bit of an error, so I'm just going to undo and I'll try that again and scale it down to 25%. Uh, that's because we want a final map of 2 to 1, this is a half of it, so it's uh, going to be uh, 4 to 1. Now I'm trying to use the same uh, rectangular selection, I just use the selection move tool and I can't get it to fit. It's a little bit off, probably due to some mapping distortion. So uh, giving up on it shortly. Here we go. I'm going to resort to using the rectangular selection tool again and just picking it the same way as the last time but on the southern hemisphere this time lining up each of the four edges as best I can just by eyeball. Try to include the black line in. Uh, you could exclude it if uh, that was your desire depending on how it's actually drawn. So again copy and paste to new document and the same distort. So we first check for square actually make the pixels square at that low resolution and uh, now we're going to resize it to 400 percent again <clears throat> and when I go to 400% I notice here that it doesn't uh, line up uh, with the same pixels so I turn it from percent to pixels mode and set it so it's the same size pixel width as the uh, first hemisphere. Uh, now again a polar distortion uh, again. Here we've got to uh, map it from north because we're doing the polar hemisphere and, and flip it horizontally uh, just to get it to rotate properly. The other thing I'm doing, I noticed earlier that the map is offset by 180 degrees just the way the mapping was so we added that 180 degree offset in the polar map. And there it is. Now I'm just going to do the same 25% uh, rescale in the vertical direction and select all, copy and paste it in as a new layer. <clears throat> here we are. See we've got the two hemispheres. Now I did figure out a little trick here, uh, backed up briefly. I'm flipping the top layer so it's upside down and now I'm going to enlarge the canvas uh, making it twice as tall as it is now and then I'm going to enlarge this to the whole image and then just flip it uh, so it'll actually drop down into the lower half. And you can see we actually ended up with a pretty good lineup right there. Uh, that's more or less the image I provided in the uh, forum. Uh, so I'm just going to merge the layers down to a single layer. And uh, the question was asked about color correction. The simplest is just to use the uh, layers dialog, or sorry, the uh, the levels dialog and I'm playing with the uh, upper and lower, the gamma, you can see where I found the best results just eyeballing it 
And there we go, a relatively cleaned up map with not a lot of effort. Remember, this is running at double speed, so uh, I'm not that fast on the mouse. Uh, and in case you want to see how I made the, uh, the sphere, there is a map to object um, filter. You can pick sphere, and you can see there it's showing us a sphere. <clears throat> we'll go into lighting effects and turn off the spotlight effect so it's uh, just overall ambient lighting and we can rotate the pole down a little bit just like so. You could also rotate the X or Y if you so desired. Um, unfortunately that's the most zoom you can get so running the filter uh, it will unfortunately use the same proportions as the actual uh, equi rectangular so it's kinda distorted to get the actual sphere when you're done you'll just have to rescale that layer uh, again uh, by 50 percent width wise and then I just did a quick select on color, inverted it, and cropped it to the selection. So there we go. There's a sphere. I hope that was useful. And uh, see you at the Cartographer's Guild.